Kelsey Grammer has traded in the bright lights for starry nights. Nestled in the Catskill Mountains, he took us on a tour of his scenic 500-acre property on a cold, windy day with the rain barely holding out. How, how often do you uh, come out here? Oh, just about every day when I'm here. You know, this is what I like to do. For just the peace and tranquility? Yeah, it's just having up here, man. You, you, you come up and then you turn things off, you know? This place is, this is, this is heaven to me. This is where I love to be, more than any place else. This is where when I bring my friends up, you take a good look at the, at the view. Why does it make you emotional? I don't know. It's, you know it's, I guess one of the things that, you know, happens when you have uh, family, and, you know, we all have, you know, bad times, hard times. Um, but there are so many good times, too to be cherished and remembered and, remembered and, and honored and memorialized in this way. But boy, you see, you can see that view there, and that's just, that's just fantastic. <laughs> in the Serenity is where his young daughter, Faith, helped provide the inspiration for his new beer label. Well, I was up there walking with Faith and uh, our, our buddy and, uh, and Kate, actually, and they were talking, and Faith and I went out into the field a little bit, and he just happened to snap a picture, and that's, that's the picture that's on the cans. Uh, it's uh, great. And it just it always reminds me of Faith, and that love I have with that little girl is just something else, and like a gift I've never had. She helps me hang on always to how beautiful life is, and that's, uh, that's the gift she's given me. Before we sampled the beer, we hopped back on the ATV to continue the tour. First, tell about where we are. Right, well, this is, um, this is the old barn property. Uh, uh, we used to be called the Rough Farm, and uh, this is a rough road over here that comes up to the, the barn. Uh, this property was adjacent to my land, my first purchase here 20 some odd years ago. It was such a beautiful building that I thought to myself, something has to be done here. And it was at that time when my wife and I talked about what it should be and should become, and we thought brewery was it. Uh, yeah, I thought, what else to do with it? You know, I'll just make beer. Right. This is the barn. This is the the, uh, the famous old uh, rough dairy farm barn uh, where they used to, I don't know how many head of cattle they had in here, but probably a couple of hundred. It was a big, uh, the machinery we took out of it when I, when I bought the barn. Down here, we're talking about um, doing something with, uh, with barley. That's one idea. Uh, otherwise, it's you know, it's scenery. So this is uh, this is the top of the bar. The structure is just so compelling to me. It, it reminds me of an upside down like you know Viking ship or something, or one of the great barges, or Noah's Ark, or <laughs> whatever. And you're thinking you'll do what with this? Uh, this I, I was always thinking of it being sort of an entertainment space. Head to the the Fabco Odyssey. Okay, no, go ahead. <laughs> there we go. We're ducking in out of the rain. <laughs> this would be the. Beginning of a great romance. <laughs> uh, so this is the Fabco Faith American Brewing Company Odyssey, which is what I originally named it. I'm not sure we're ever going to really call it that. But, uh... So when you first had the idea for the brewery four years ago to now, the notable points in that process for you are what? Well, the first the first notable one was actually having the beer that tasted good. <laughs> Should we sample? Yeah. Let's see if I can get my pouring hand in gear here. This is a good pour for sure. I'll get myself one. Cheers. Best American. <laughs> it's really good. 